No siguiente entrevista de Awe Noche, está el General Manager de Baltimore Orioles, Dan Duquette, quien está a meter a antes, el General Manager de Boston Red Sox. Yo ya me seguro que está a un honor para entrevistar a Dan Duquette. Contanos de la tremenda experiencia aquí. Bueno, la entrevista está a un éxito. Me dice que nos hay una oportunidad de poder entrevistar a Dan Duquette, que está el GM de Baltimore Orioles, y también el papel bon de nuestros equipos en la región de Aruba, Corso, uh, St. Martin. Y me te quiere también, ahora que nada, va a focus un tiki más para bien firmar si no son adonan, por cierto también, que un día no son adonan con una firma para el uno pasado con el Chile Werner. Vamos a la entrevista interesante aquí. Televidente, vamos a venir a otra transmisión de Top Sports, Aruba en Baseball Players. A ver, nos tiene el placer de conversar con Dan Duquette, el GM de Baltimore Orioles. Dan, uh, good evening, um, it's been a pleasure. Um, having this, this opportunity, you know, for this interview on behalf of, you know, the top sports room baseball players and myself. Um, what can you tell us about, you know, the Orioles, you know, um, going strong in the islands of signing kids, you know, having a former, you know, uh, um, Oriole as in Calvin Maduro um, doing the job, at, you know, for going down and, you know, signing young, young talent. Well, Calvin Maduro is a, a real good example of a player that can come from the island and then come over here in the States and do real well as a major league player. Now Calvin has made a transition in his career and now he's providing an opportunity for other uh, young Ar Arubans to come to the States and he's got a great eye for talent. He helped sign Eduardo Rodriguez who's pitching with the Red Sox and was a key player in a trade last year for the Orioles. Uh, he's also uh, participated in John Scope, right. uh, who signed from Carousel. And now uh, Calvin just signed a right-hand pitcher, Gillian Wernett, from Aruba, who he thinks has a future as a major league pitcher, and he's got him into the Oriole player development program. So we're really happy that we have Calvin to lead the charge to recruit young Aruban players. And we like the island. We like the proximity. Uh, to the uh, states, we like the education system, and we like the ball players that are coming out of there. The Red Sox have the best shortstop in the league, Bogerts, and Calvin tells me there's more good players coming from Aruba to come over here and play for the Orioles. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, uh, being from Aruba, you know, being a former player, also myself, you know, know knowing Calvin from you know close by, um, he's been doing a good job of you know coming over and you know scouting you know young players. Um, about about signing, you know, young guys down in the island. What does it takes, you know, for you know a guy like that, you know, to 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 go down and and, and ha have an opportunity to be close to you know to his people and know you know the talent that we have down there. Well, Calvin knows the talent, and with Bogarts coming to the big leagues and establishing himself as one of the top players in the league, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of young Aruban players that follow his lead and will want to follow him into professional baseball. Like yourself, I mean, you, you were a pioneer, you were a trailblazer. Yeah. You made a career out of baseball, and now you're transitioning into the coaching and leadership role in the, in the country. And I think that's how you perpetuate getting good players to continue to come over to the country. You have a one group of players that comes, they learn the game, and now you're back teaching other young players the game. And I think that's how you pass down a love for baseball from one generation to the next. No, no doubt. I mean, you know, um, you know, like like you said, you know, being a former, you know, uh, a baseball player and you know, played, you know, at the highest level here in the states. As of right now, you have a you know a guy like Scope. Um, he's been doing a great job, you know, um, with his injuries, you know, in the past. How do you see him um, in the future um, at uh, at that at that position? And how does he, you know, um, um, transact, uh, you know, to stay on the field? You know, his, his main problem is, you know, you know, staying healthy. How do you guys feel about having him on the field on a daily basis? Well, John Scope, he's a great big kid. I mean, he looks like a quarterback when he stands in there on the double play. He <laughs> looks like a quarterback standing in the pocket. He's like six foot four, weighs over 230 pounds. So he's not your prototypical second baseman, but he's got excellent hands. He's got a good arm. He's got a terrific attitude. And this year he's developing into a good hitter. And he's, as he learns how to hit, you're going also going to see some more power from him. As he, you can see the pull power. He's got a knack for hitting three-run homers. And he's learning the strike zone. And as he learns the strike zone a little bit better and gets a little bit more discipline, you're going to see 
more home runs and a really productive uh, asset right in the middle of the lineup for the Orioles. So basically, um, you guys are extremely happy with him, and in the future, hopefully, you know, we can get um, more players, you know, to sign, you know, with you guys, and um, hopefully, uh, you know, the, the kid we you guys just signed, uh, which is Jalen Werner. Um, hopefully, you know, in a few years, you know, he'll, he'll develop and, you know, with time, he will get to the big leagues. What are your words, um, you know, for being, you know, one of the head guys, you know, the GM of the Baltimore Orioles? Um, what are your words for young talent that are want to sign and want to get to the league um, in a way that, you know, uh, uh, many of these guys want to, you know, want to progress and develop? Well, I think the best way for the young players to improve their skills is to play ball. And Aruba has access to several international tournaments. And if the players are good enough, they should compete for the international team and then try to represent Aruba in the international competition. Now, we have uh, John Scope's brother, too, Charlin, is in our organization. In fact, John and Charlin were living together when Charlin was playing in the minors and John was playing in the big leagues. So we have a good uh, pipeline and a good tradition of uh, signing players from Aruba and Curacao, but I would continue the players to play. You've got a good environment, you're getting more facilities in Aruba, and you have the year-round capability to develop your skills as baseball players, and there's great opportunity here in the States for the, for the gifted player. Well, Dan, um, it's, for me, it's, you know, it's been a pleasure you know, interviewing you, and on behalf of you know, Top Sports Aruba and Baseball Player, we want to thank you. Um, keep doing um, what you guys are doing. I know Calvin's doing a great job. You know, I admire what he does, and you know, you guys been you know, you guys been great. And being back here in Baltimore, you know, it's a it's a it's a it's a dream that came back to me. And uh, you know, going back home now and seeing you know what most of these guys, you know, Bogey and, and Scopey, um, doing their thing in the big leagues, it's been a thrill. So, on behalf of Ruba, um, I want to thank you. And um, hopefully, you know, you guys come down and continue to you know do what you guys do. And, uh, and uh, we want to thank, you know, your organization, which is Baltimore Warriors and Calvin, to um, uh, giving, you know, a lot of these guys the opportunity to have their dreams become true. So thank you, thank you. and um, uh, we, will, we, we will see each other again. All right, good luck. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Televidente ng Top Sports Rubin Baseball Players, Akinanku Dan Duquette, GM, the Baltimore Orioles. <laughs>